the knowledge that my next stop in Clonmel will serve up the ultimate comfort, some delicious button cake. I've made a tremendous number of cakes in my time, but I've never made one that can tell you a fortune. Nuda is queen of the Barnbrack cake, a magical bit of baking that's been at the heart of this family for almost 120 years. Mary Brownie, so good to have you here in town now. You're very, very welcome. I've come a long way to taste your cakes. I particularly want to taste that cake that will tell my fortune. Magic, I can't believe it. That's our barn brack, so come this way and I'll show you how to make them. Okay, I'm there. Tell me what we're up to. We've been baking barn bracks here for four generations. It's unbaked, it's not the fruit in it. <laughs> it's such a heavy girl. Yeah. Has this cake got a long history? Oh my god, yes, yes, it goes right back to pagan times. Halloween originally came from Ireland. Ia Hanna, as we call it in Irish, the end of summer, and they party and have this traditional barn brack with the charms. So these are little charms that are actually in fact a bit like our Christmas pudding we used to look kind of in. What are they? What do they mean? So the P is for plenty, the coin is for wealth, the stick we um say you're going to get a beating. You know, you're going to beat somebody That's up. That's a bit cruel. Yeah, it is. That's not a nice one. The ring, you're going to be married and live happily ever after. Mm -hmm. The button, a bachelor or a spinster. And the rag, you're going to be poor. And so you put those already wrapped up in parchment paper into, into, the, into the dough. Yes. Yeah, and actually, when you look or come across it, you don't actually know what it is. No, until you cover it. Until you slice it. So we owe Halloween to Ireland. Fancy that. Apparently, years ago, religious medals could also be found in the brand predicting a life in the Holy Orders. Now Mary, the moment of truth, and we'll give us a fortune to tell. Ooh, what have we? There's something there. Now Mary, is that your slice? Right. Yeah. Cut open the back there. See, what is it? That isn't the money, it's wealth. A woman of wealth, I promise I'll share it. I, I, I see something peeking through there. Oh dear God almighty, I'm going to get a beating. Oh. Have you ever had that before? You've got me, Mary. Ah, but I've got the world. <laughs> well, my cakes might not be able to predict your future, but I can tell you, eat enough of this one and you won't worry about what tomorrow brings. This cake is an absolute cracker. It's dead easy to make and I've called it coffee priming cake. There's not much I don't know about cake and I'll pass it on to you. Dissolve some coffee granules in the bottom of a bowl. Add four large eggs, 225 grams of baking spread, sugar, and flour. Then one teaspoon of baking powder and beat together. That is beautifully smooth. Divide the mix between two tins and place in the oven at 160 fan for 30 minutes. Could anything be easier? Praline sounds very posh. It is simply a caramel with nuts. Take a stainless steel pan, sugar, and four tablespoonfuls of water. It really is very, very easy if you follow the rules. And the first rule is don't be tempted to leave it. Quite a lot of cooking and baking is about patience. And this is one of those times. When the syrup is clear, turn up the heat and get boiling. And what you'll notice is you can actually hear that bubbling. Suddenly, the noise will go quiet, and it, then you want to look at it and see that it's becoming straw coloured. Don't be tempted to stir it. It's like children. When it's quiet, you know it's the time to watch. The bubbles are dying down. That means that all the water has been driven off. And that's nearly the colour. It's brown. That's absolutely fine. I've turned the heat off. In go the hazelnuts. Swirl it round. And then just pour it on. Put it to one side and let it set. While the cake's cool, I'm whipping up my icing of coffee, butter and sugar. That's it, didn't take too many minutes. Now I'm all set to crush the praline. I 
and I always like to have icing in the middle and on the top, but uh, you can choose. It's a very generous filling. Then put the other one on top. There it is, going on. Push the icing right to the edges. And then simply put the rest of the nut on top like this. What could be better than having a slice of this celebration cake and an Irish coffee? Just the thing at the end of the day.